How to disassemble the Honda lock and get a new key. Loosen the screws. It's remover for Honda lock. Look for the prober pin and then follow my operation. Insert the pin into the hole of the lock. Pay attention, light force is okay. Rotate gently back and forth. Then the lock cylinder will pop out automatically. Casually insert the key that has been cut. The ignition lock is on the left and the door lock is on the right. We can see they have the same positions of wafers. We can get a new key from either of them. This is the picture of lock structure. Please remove every wafer from the lock and put them on the proper positions. Turn the lock cylinder over. Put all wafers on the right positions. Let's complete the markings on this picture. We also make markings on the reverse side. This is just the front side and reverse side of lock cylinder. And then we put all wafers of group A on the left and all wafers of group B on the right. Let's find the key biddings. Please watch carefully, there are figures on every wafer. A2, A3, A4 is separately 3. Five, one, and the let's watch figures of group B. Ding, ding, ding. Then input four, five, five, six, three, but positions one, five, six have no wafers. Click a cut by bidding onto M to tank CNC key cutting machine. Search for O N sixty six. Click O N sixty six. Click the first one. This shows how to install the key on the clamp. It is Honda key blank. Please align with the first line. Click continue if it's ready. Input the biddings onto the application. 351. And turn to group B. 45563. And the next, how to solve the problems of positions without wafers. Here we click Find Biddings. Here it shows two options. We select the second option. Ding, ding, ding. The biddings appeared and click Cut. Finish cutting both sides, and then install all wafers back into the lock cylinder. All positions are okay.